Hi guys, me again. Today we're going to read a story called Bob, not Bob. Now, it sounds like a silly title, but you'll soon find out. It's not so silly. This book is by Liz Garten Scanlon and Audrey Ernick. And pictures are by Matthew Cordell. Bob. To be read as though you have the worst cold ever. Maybe that'll make more sense to you. Little Louie wasn't all that little. It wasn't like he needed his mom every minute of the day. We know what that's like. We're big kids. We're big kids. Usually. Achoo! But when little Louie got sick, he felt littler than usual. Like maybe his mom should check on him kind of often, every three minutes or so. And there's mom doing what she does, checking on little Louie. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Today, little Louie's nose was clogged. His ears crackled and his brain felt full. He didn't know of what, but mostly his nose. It was disgusting. Lil Louie didn't want the color. <laughs> he didn't want to watch TV. He didn't even want the shoe baskets with wadded up tissues. All he wanted, besides maybe some hot chocolate, what's his mother? Bob! called Little Louie with his weird, all wrong, stuffed up voice. His dog, Bob, came running and slobbering. Have you ever felt like Little Louie with your nose all stuffed up and your head full of stuff that you didn't know what? Ugh. Did all you want was your mob. And nothing seems to go right. Kind of makes us cranky. No, I love my Bob. Not Bob. 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 Bob didn't know what to say to that. There's Bob. If you have a dog, maybe you have a dog that will come running when you're sick. I know I do. Little Louie's mother came to his bedroom door. Why all the yelling, Puggin? asked Mom. Little Louie let out a sad, I don't feel well and my nose is clogged, Moan. Uh. Okay, sweetie, let's see. It didn't matter what she was going to say. All little Louie wanted was his mob. But she had to go get his sister from the bus. Oh, not good. The next day, little Louie was even sicker. His lips were chapped and his eyes gunked and his, for his nose, you can't even imagine. So we just lay there getting hot and sweaty, which sounded like hot and smetty. Who's hot and smetty? asked his sister. Not smetty. Smetty and hard. Tessa didn't know who smetty was. Hard either. Mom would understand. Bob called little Louie. His dog Bob came running and slobbering. No, Bob, not Bob. Tessa looked at him like he was cuckoo. So did Bob. Ugh. I bet you know how that feels. 
Oh, we've all felt that way. Little Louie was starting to feel kind of cuckoo, and nothing seemed to help. I don't want my medicine. I don't want the bubba bat. And I don't want the dab. Which translates to, I don't want my medicine. I don't want a bubble bath. And I don't want a nap. I just want my bob. Sometimes as grown-ups, we even still want our mom. Bob came running and slobbering. No, 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 no. Bob, not Bob. Little Louie was all mixed up. And so was Bob. And so was Mom. She dropped the laundry and kicked off her shoes. Mom's starting to look a little tired too, isn't she? See what? Her face, she looks a little tired. She climbed in next to little Louie and pulled up the blankets high. She held him close. Oh, Louie, she said. Oh, Bob, he said. Bob came running and slobbering. He jumped on the bed with them, and they lay there all afternoon, cozy as could be. And even though little Louie wasn't all that little and didn't need his mother every minute of the day, well, it was still awfully nice to have her there. And Bob, too. Little by little, Louie got better. His nose unclogged, his ears uncrackled, and when he yelled, Bob, it was because he actually wanted Bob. Bob came running and jumping and slobbering. And even though little Louie didn't actually need his mom every minute of the day, he thought it was awfully nice when she came running too. Did you call me? That's the way moms are. We want to take care of our kids. <gasps> ah, Uh-oh. Who's going to take care of mom? The end. Bob. Not Bob. I hope if you've ever had a cold that you have someone who runs to take care of you. Maybe it's a dog. Maybe it's an aunt. Maybe it's a grandma. Maybe it's mom. Maybe it's a big sister or big brother. Maybe it's a dad, grandpa. I hope you have somebody in your life who makes you feel better even when you don't really. But just by being there, they make you feel better by giving you a hug Maybe giving you a kiss on the head, bringing you something warm and good to eat or drink. And I hope you get better quickly because it's no fun to be sick. Until next time.